Hi, it's Danielle here. I'm going to be doing a vlog update on the things that I'm going to be covering. First of all, um, art-wise, I am sort of like three quarters of the way of my recent um, digital painting. Um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to be doing with in my oil painting. Um, I will be doing a print as well. And yes, I still got to update with my website with my prints and latest work. Um, I've been, you know, slacking with that because I had too much on my plate. Number one, because of my, I've been getting recent headaches since my MRI scan. Um, so kind of, I got, I got electrocuted inside. Um, so, um, I have made an appointment for with a doctor to, um, somehow see what happened there. Um, actually, it was uh, Guy Fox. Uh, I basically had a terrible headache, so I stayed in, and I just, you know, went to bed and slept. Now I'm awake. Um, still got a mild headache, but it isn't bad um, yet. Uh, it normally happens when um, I don't rest. So, um, and I'm thinking all the time I get the headache. Um, so what I'm going, so what I'm going to be doing um, as well, particularly covering the whole. Yeah, it's it's an ongoing, you know, problem this um, with the um, the the hatred towards extraterrestrials, the whole um, anti ET agenda, um, using the alien alien agenda, and the whole reptilian agenda with David Icke and all that. It's all bullshit, and um, this is what I'm trying to. Uh, educate people about um, that um, um, about that the edge thresholds you know they weren't they were willing to help but they were only climbing to assist um, in uh, with the nuclear catastrophe and all that um, as well um, sharing um, new technology and uh, um, um, once um, people um, get together and um, uh, stop this anti traditional nonsense and as well um, money, the money problem and all that. Um, the money disease actually. Um, what I was going to say is um, I just got my first or well, second video response to that. Uh, music video. I think I'm going to be doing more of them than a, a talking character where I compose my music and then I put um, short brief narration. Um, it seems to have more of a um, an impact because I think perhaps the um, the electronic character um, kind of probably drones a bit. Um, and not much attention, uh, more people just lose attention. And, uh, um, so I'm going to be doing more music for those videos, um, and then have a narrative with um, uh, video clips that I found on YouTube and mix it in. Um, although my recent video did have a, a problem with copyright, not because of my music. Because one of the video clips I've used in the uh, thing, so it's it's not like it's a serious copyright problem or issue. It's just that the um, the video has been tagged with advertising, and um, so that kind of like so it takes away the the um, fair use, not fair use. I mean, um, you know, like the open source thing we. People can remix the video there and there on the um, YouTube um, website. Um, 
so I have to be a bit very you know animation takes a lot of time um, and this thing um, you know I just want to do the music and the, the video clips that I put in is just like you know decoration and just for viewing pleasure and at the same time um, learn uh, that extraterrestrial is not a threat so kind of like deprogramming techniques um, that are that's all about um, with because um, there's all this mass media, um, particularly around the conspiracy theory, stick theory based um, ideology um, that uh, the extraterrestrials are baddies, where apparently they've got nothing to do with it at all, and um, so um, I seem to have got more of a positive. And this um, not really a response, but it seems to be working. Uh, and some uh, people are, are, are actually um, commenting. With the other videos, not many people commented. They probably um, saw the, the videos and they kind of, you know, they didn't say anything or anything like that. Um, well, first off, what I'm going to cover as well is the Elohim Embassy. Um, um, how to, you know, try and get that actually um, started. The Radio Movement do have um, or all the, the financial backing to build the damn thing. Um, but um, the what is actually restricting um, it being built is the uh, Bureaucracy and um, the anti ET agenda, uh, the bureaucracy about um, uh, borders and boundaries and things like that. Um, um, so, this, the, the embassy has to be like a neutral thing. Um, I'm looking elsewhere for other people if they have a similar idea. Um, Apparently, there's not much really, but um, Greer seems to be positive, um, extraterrestrial positive. But the only downfall on his side is it's he's making money out of it, and uh, the extraterrestrials don't like that. Um, but it's his, but it's their only um, one of their only. It's one of the only things that would help. Them. It's just with all the money uh, the disease that's infected Dr. Greer and all that is um, um, it is not much time to be mucking around um, to be honest. Uh, this information should be free and open and um, just to um, counter argue the um, the, the mass produced, um, but, uh, about the, uh, with the reptilians and all that with David Icke. Um, a lot of people don't realize that David Icke is actually funded by Capita. Um, um, I found that somewhere, and, uh, that basically confirms that, um, David Icke is actually a, um, Sort of like a, um, a misinformation decoy where provides, you know, some truth and then can and then on top bullshit, you know. Um, I just don't know how to put it in, you know, proper words, but, um, that's what he is. He's actually a con man and, um, this is what most people are doing with the the, the topic of this terrestrials is they um, they tend to fabricate a lot of things um, where they they find um, truth here there um, people's stories and all that but they seem to glamorize it or sense add in a lot of sensationalism um, which actually discredits um, um, Genuine data, um, and um, what is it? The people, what happens is um, a lot of the conspiracy theorists believe 
that the religious political elites are the reptilians. And that is uh, more in misinformation. And they don't realize that that is a, a setup um, which causes division. Um, more of a class division um, where they don't see their fellow um, human beings just because they've got more money. Um, although, there's, as you know, there's a, a divide or a segregation of people um, based on how much they've got in their pockets. And with this whole system, um, with the financial segregation, which is actually re getting worse, um, and this, this, this whole reptilian agenda thing actually um, aggravates it or um, supports it, um, where people see themselves more alien um, than person who's just, who's just basically um, got a status um, image just because they've got more money than somebody else. Apparently everyone is the same, everyone's one. Um, it's just a, a, a delusion, it's actually a delusion, um, this financial segregation and um, the religious political needs want uh, or, uh, want this um, just to cause more divide, more segregation um, and so they can, you know, it, it's just snowballing um, it's a snowballing technique of the religious political elite to actually, I don't like using the word uh, Illuminati on that because they're not really enlightened but they're actually stupid um, they've got um, I don't know many truths like uh, with, with esoteric, but um, esoteric is only a mystical point of the bigger picture. Um, it's been made mystical um, to actually um, um, kind of make people afraid of it. Um, lots of things, um, but because the, the, the higher up uh, the religious political elites that are really high up. Um, they know um, um, certain things and, um, and they create a delusion. Same as when they invented religion and um, the belief uh, of uh, theism, the uh, belief of a god to control people, um, which is basically an imaginary authority to implement their authority uh, and to manipulate people under them as slaves. Um, so that's what it's all about. And this reptilian agenda thing kind of supports that. And um, it causes more segregation. So people feel that the people in Wall Street are more alien to them when apparently the truth is they're not. They're, they're, they're human beings. Um, and also another thing I'm going to say is. Um, and when we come to the topic of extraterrestrials, and Stephen Greer has shared this um, evidence um, that little that little extraterrestrial being that you know had been examined by his research team, and the DNA came out that the being is um, human. Um, it, it, it's um, the human genome is not. Um, localized to Earth, but um, many extraterrestrial beings um, within this galaxy do have a common genome, even though that, that being is 99% uh, human and um, humans here. Uh, my genome differs a little bit, a little bit as well, um, but it's, it's very same. So if I had my genome, it would classified as a uh, human, uh, including um, an, another hybrid that had um, her gene in, um, and it's, it, it just, just comes out rare human. Um, it's not the common um, genome. It's hard to, um, I find it hard to explain, but um, it, it comes out human. Um, and even uh, the wild signal, uh, that's another um, uh, factor. 
um, which was broadcasted from the Sag Sag Sagittarian um, star system. And um, the wow signal is actually um, 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 a, a human DNA encoding, uh, saying that, which is basically a message saying, well, you're not alone. Many people say, oh, we're alone in the, in the universe and all that. People who basically haven't thought or don't understand um, extraterrestrials and things like that, particularly religious, where they, the whole universe is basically Earth, um, where they basically misidentify um, extraterrestrials as demons and things like that, because they've got a very a planet-sized uh, perception, uh, which is big to them. But on a on a galactic scale or a universal scale, it's it's basically nothing. It's their perception is teeny weeny weeny teeny, uh, where um where they think it's big because I just so you know you've got the the pattern. It's basically similar to the perception where they had in the old days where they um, assumed that all the planets and the stars revolved around the Earth. It's the same kind of um, Thing. Not again. And um, so um, that's what I'm going to say. Um, oh, where was I again? Um, so I'm going to be doing videos of that sort of thing, and uh, they'll be free to download. Free to remix uh, as well. Um, I I won't. I, I actually don't like it if you actually use my videos to change what I'm saying. Um, because um, that's like defeating the objective uh, on what why I do videos is to try and educate people about extraterrestrial not a threat. Number one. And the, and the reason why they're not a threat is because now we now I'm going to go back to the topic I was on about little being in the wild signal. Um, also, what has been discovered in um, genome is many, many people uh, say that it's the signature um, of uh, God uh, in genome, uh, Yahweh, which is actually an a name of an extraterrestrial bioengineer. And um, this by engineer um, um, designed the code of this particular uh, human, and um, and then um, which is what it's discovered in the in the code in the news. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but um, yeah. So this is where, you, where I would say go to the point where number one, uh, why let extraterrestrials not a threat. And I feel like I'm repeating myself over it. I just don't like it. Um, because the reason why, I, I just don't like repeating myself. The reason why the extraterrestrials are not a threat is number one, uh, they, in, they're, they're capable, um, of interstellar space travel. Um, in order to achieve that um, scenario, is that the the civilization has reached a point where it's um, uh, it's not self-destructive. So we're like this civilization on this planet, it's self-destruction, and we're ready to go doomsday clock. And it's it's five to midnight. The the spread of time, and it's going to be in just uh, like a week or two's time. From this date, um, um, and most likely would move forward. But if it doesn't move forward, um, they haven't considered um, Fukushima into the to the whole thing. Um, because Fukushima is a serious thing. The whole almost the whole Pacific Ocean um, has been affected terribly, and that is a large portion of the planet already. It's actually a quarter of Earth is being irradiated already, 
um, that's one. It's when you look at it, it's roughly a quarter. Um, and it's only 28 years time where the radiation, of the whole Earth had been radiated um, before 28 years. And uh, that's 28 years is when basically everything starts to die off um, or get sick. Uh, and then eventually die off um, from the radiation contamination. Um, when looking through the, the we're doing the research um, about this doomsday clock thing, and I'm just thinking, are they going to move it one minute or two minutes forward, or are they going to leave it on five minutes? Um, it's very, I'm not really too sure, but I've got a, a feeling that um, looking at the data, um, and thinking for myself, um, most likely to move forward, um, 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 most likely, um, most probably move forward by one minute, then, um, um, then least likely, but possibly two, um, and then three minutes least and very unlikely maybe depending on what they what they put on the table uh, and look at. Um but um I'd say one minute is a very large um possibility. And if it hasn't moved at all, uh, then they haven't taken Fukushima into consideration. Because I was just reading through the, the discussions um, across the internet about food data. And um, what is very frustrating is the whole delusion about money and the money disease that people are looking at that instead of reality um, um, of the Fukushima and all that, which is, which is indirectly causing the economy problems. Um, this is many people look at economy first instead of living things like people, environment, plants, real things, resources, um, reality that matter. Um, um, the half-life of the, the, the components and all that particles. That is real. That, uh, when we look at uh, money, it's it's all imaginary, it's virtual. Money is a virtual commodity. That's why it changes, that's why things go up, things go down. Um, even the value of gold, the monetary value of gold is a delusion. Um, it's what people um, imagine or pretend to value something. Where an extraterrestrial, when they see gold, you know, they say, oh, you know, it has its, it has its uses, but seriously, to, just because it's shiny. The current time is 6 o'clock a.m. Just because it's shiny, pretty, and everything, um, they kind of put like a monetary value to it, where gold is more of a, um, uh, it will the extraterrestrial see it more of a, a functional value, um, but um, they don't monetize because they can actually, uh, as I'm going to say, number which is also which debunks um, the reptilian theory and the um, ancient Mesopotamian or um, Sumerian theory, where they say the extraterrestrials. Um, made a slave race and all that and people of today or the remnants of it um, that is bullshit um, extraterrestrials did um, design the code of um, people but not as a slave because they, they have a high country why would they create slaves um, if they could actually um, create robotics um, and they've traveled like this to get there. So, it doesn't make any sense. And the uh, way they say it's also when they say, oh, they've made slave race to mine gold and all that. Now, 
um, already with nanotechnology, um, people on this planet are capable of producing gold um, from lead um, without any nuclear uh, uh, issues where it actually um, also happens on a nuclear level uh, where the lead um, protects it like, well, like most people in power plants that have a lead um, protection and um, with the reaction of the particles in the lead it slowly um, creates gold and this is what we can actually buy you know do the nanotechnology without having it being um, radioactive and harmful so extraterrestrial this and then, and then when you look at, at the, the cape about um, there's tons and tons of minerals and whatever and rocks and things gold all kinds of minerals you know why come to the specific little planet and then that is slave that is absolute bullshit it makes no sense at all so people need to think and look at science and then look at the conspiracy theory and then put match the two together and pull out the bullshit and then pull out the facts and that's what people should be doing but they don't they like to follow and often these people that sell write books um, sell books that many do write these books not to educate or to inform people I don't like using the word masses because that dehumanizes um, people and calling people it dehumanizes, it strips them from their humanity so I would say to inform the people um, about um, you know this this idea that came to their head, and though they mainly do, uh, write the books to sell it to get money, or to get money. So their first priority when they write the book is profit. So they can actually sit that, and what they do is they centralize um, things. They, they see certain facts from um, uh, things. Uh, from from archaeology, and they did they kind of add a lot, a lot of um, assumptions, and then sensationalism, so that they can sell the book. Uh, people bite into it. That's the thing. When something is sensationalized, uh, sensationalized, um, in order to sell. People naturally um, bite into it, and this is where um, I could feel there should be a, um, a thing. You know, you know, you got your fiction, which is your storybooks like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, Star Trek, and all that. Um, that's fiction, right? And although it's got a certain bit of, you know, um, fact or for some philosophical, uh, philosophical ideas which is mainly what the story about is trying to push forward and um, it's the philosophical ideas in these um, things or the moral of the story but it's fiction and fiction is an art um, and it seems to be fair enough you know you know making money from that even though I personally like to, sh to share my art and uh, uh, because I want more people to get it because when you sell something, in some article, it is restricted to those that have been segregated. So, um, people who've got money can obtain the story and then enjoy the story. And then people who don't have money or in poverty, they never get to enjoy the story. Which I don't like, where that's where I would like everybody and when they see my art, enjoy it when they like it, you know, because I know some people don't like my art mostly because um, they don't like my art because of their religious uh, beliefs and it's like, oh, sex, nudity, oh, you know um, they get all on their high horses with that and they don't actually think, they don't see the way art was supposed to be something 
it shouldn't be censored. Um, even though it's very intimate, it shouldn't be censored. It's there to make you think. Um, when my work, it when when it's sensual, it's not really erotic. It, it's sensual, um, although it, it can appear as being erotic, but it's got a deeper, um, more of a connection with nature, with natural uh, tenderness. There's a lot of tenderness in it, um, love, like compassion and like a bonding. Um, there's no, it's not like some um, erotic art where it's bondage, uh, punishment, um, that sort of thing, which um, makes me feel uncomfortable. When I see um, that sort of erotic art, I don't like it, but I don't go out of my way and you know, try and cover it up and move it and all that. It makes me think, and I'm, and I'm trying to imagine myself. Um, why the artist of the work and um, what what makes I try to get into the the artist's mind and um, you know see how and why they they've done it and why they do they do it. Um, so you know because censoring and all that it kind of takes away the thinking ability uh, to reason and understand. Uh, because censorship is made is very closely linked to ignorance and intolerance. Um, so yeah, uh, I keep on my mind keeps on going. Um, you know, because I'm very much of a thinker, um, and I tend to go on these. I tend I tend to travel on thoughts, uh, and it's like a journey. Um, so. What I what I was going back to was I don't I don't like saying my work um, because I would like everybody to enjoy it. And um, going back, you know, yes. Um, so you got your fiction um, and then your non-fiction. The non-fiction is folks around on documentary, um, facts, um, scientific journals, even um, ideas. That um, have a non-fictional viewpoint of reality, which would need to go through a, a critical, a, a criticism process of experimentation to find out um, in more detail what is true and what is just thought-up idea, which is impossible and practical, you know. and that shouldn't be sold um, because that should be sort of like thrown into the collective consciousness of humanity and then thought about and then refined and you know um, processed and learnt and so there's a better understanding of our life, the universe and everything. Which brings to the point that education um, should be free. Um, because the, and that's when people would think. But the education system, even it's not, even if education is provided freely, um, people um, are taught what to think and not how to think. That's uh, the only problem with the current education system. Um, and I'm currently, um, and it gets quite serious when you actually. Um, have a medical condition or a medical problem and you go to a doctor and that doctor uh, had got their profession he had through study and all that in university but it's how they studied that's the how they study that they study on the basis of thinking um, on how to think yeah how to think um, so when they see a new um, something different within the experience of the job or task, they would sit and think and then work it out for themselves. And what they have done is they got they managed to get the qualification by learning the textbook and all that, 
like a poet. So they don't understand what they've learned. They just memorized. Um, I, I can't even say it's learning. They just memorized it, and um, they just memorized it. And it's like many religious people in the Bible practice, they memorize scripture, but they don't understand it. Um, and then they follow, follow the scripture because they claim it to be God's word without looking into the fact that people, human beings, had written their ideas onto paper. And then those ideas got translated and misinterpreted um, on purpose. Well, I'll, I'll go to the degree that some of it was done on purpose in to implement control uh, of people to exploit the slaves um, on purpose. And um, and this is basically happening as well with the in the field of education and um, I would I would be very happy to be uh, getting treatment from a doctor um, that um, had studied and learned on the, you know around the techniques of uh, how to think rather than what to think um, because sometimes with a doctor um, they learn things like a part and they just anything so they keep their their thinking within the boundaries of the book. Um itself like saying, Okay, um that's what the book says but you know, things can happen out of the book. Um, because that is a reality in every system of book. And say there's the uh, with certain things with the physics with the uh, perpetual motion thing there is a way of working around things uh, without violating the law of physics it's just like working around it you know we have the laws of physics here, but you can work around it um, it's it's like anything you can't break the laws of physics but you can work around it, the laws of physics um, and this is many Physics people that are, because I think, you know, everything's in the book and they, 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 they can't say hey, what's, what's around the book, you know. Um, that's what I was going to say. Um, so, there's all those things, and so I'm basically going to be focusing um, in my next videos where I'll be doing music, lovely music that you can enjoy, and in the process, um, Educating simply um, about extraterrestrials because, um, same time, I enjoy creating music. It helps. It's therapeutic, especially knowing that um, society has um, thrown me out in the sense of throwing on the trash heap because I'm alien. Um, uh, from many aspects, and then um, in knowing that I still have, even though I find it difficult to socialize after what I've been through, I still have a sort of empathy that I want humanity to survive in some point. And I can do, I can only do a certain thing, and this is sort of um, a way which I can do something. I, you know, I do not want to sit in my ass and do nothing uh, when the time comes 20 years, 8 years up and I, as I'm there lying in bed with everybody with the radiation sickness and nothing for myself um, you know you know, just, you know I should have I should have if it, maybe you know I should have if, you know um, informed people of it um, I should have done it. Because then maybe, maybe, I would have actually had maybe opened some hope somewhere. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But, um, that's something that I, I just don't want to die with having, having regrets that 
that um, they have just basically been sucking in oxygen all the time. Um, so I use my art. Um, I give you know my, I'm, I'm giving my art. Most of my art is there. I share and for people to enjoy, uh, lower their stress levels, and to help them enjoy life because I've been through a hard and I make an upset when other people um, as well uh, uh, go through terrible lives as well. Um, so, um, and, and, and it gets upsetting when some people don't appreciate it. Um, they, if they don't like it, they don't like it, you know. So fucking what? But what is, what is the problem with people that they, 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 they don't like it is they try and stop me. They delete my work. They censor me. They remove the work and then they block me and then they punish me for sharing my work. This is where 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 they get pushed me, and then they blame me for pushing getting pushed me. And also another thing I'm gonna say is, as you know, I like the tutorials. Um, to be honest, I have never had any problems from extraterrestrial people. Yes, I have encountered them. I've met them. Um, but the other thing is, I've met them, but I've never um, had any sort of discrimination, intimidation, bullying from them. Um, as well with Earth people, most of the time. Okay. So, um, there's something to think about as well. Um, uh, and then people say, oh, I believe, I worship it. No, I don't. If you say that, I simply, I don't know. It's stupid. It's stupid. And, and, and then many people say, I enforce my things on people. No, I'm just trying to get on, you know, day to day, live happy, sharing my art on my Facebook profile. It's my Facebook profile. It's, it's got nothing to do with anybody else. It's my Facebook profile. If you want to be a friend of me, you like what I post on my wall. If you don't want to be a friend of me, give it up. But you know, you go around and then you enforce. No, you must not post it. You must remove this. Because that is my life. Um, I reflect on what I do, and that's my life, and that's what I do. It's very, my art is a part of me. You can't take that away from me. Um, and this is, this is the problem I have. Um, it's all, it's, you think it's the other way around. The people, oh, you know, this is, this is where some people, um, you know. Anyway, that's what I'm going to say at the moment. Um, my kitty is on the table.